Well, they are a conservative power couple, but he was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's a few years ago. Now Bruce Wood and spouse Lisa Raitt are coping with the steady deterioration of a condition while she serves as deputy leader of the official opposition, and they join me in the studio. Welcome, Bruce. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you, Thank you for Thank you, talking about this. This is a difficult topic, but yeah. how, how did you notice things were not quite right, Bruce? How did you get diagnosed with this? Um, it's moving things around uh, like I you know I would, I would do, do this all the time right and, and 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 you would lose stuff and I would I would lose lots of stuff keys and glasses keys and yeah things like that okay well, a lot of us are forgetful where's the line of demarcation between that and something you should be going to seek medical attention on um, probably back to the office right I would well, yeah. meetings meetings and things like that but uh, I, I think you're right mm -hmm. I do um, there's probably thousands of people out there that, that I have the same disease yeah. and they don't know that and eventually they'll get it in group in the grooves so to speak mm -hmm. and that's um, what I have so well you know I've known you for an awful long time yeah. uh, you've been kind of a robust sees every day kind of guy um, What's this done to your life? How does it change your day-to-day -day activities? So I don't work anymore. Um, so that's one piece. And the other pieces I would say uh, for other people, um, get your doctor and go see them. You have to do that. Yeah. A lot of people don't do that. They think, oh, I'm, I'm going to be great, but it's not. How do you get off the floor after that diagnosis? It must have shattered you. Uh, yeah, I didn't take it that way. No? Yeah, no. It's, it was one of these things. It's okay. Here it is. And let, you know, let let me at it, and we'll figure it out. I'm still driving. Um, I'm not flying anymore. Um, things like that um, that have gone away. He's painting the house yeah. right now. Yeah. Is he doing a good job? Yeah. Always. So yeah. it's right here. Yeah, it's <laughs> How's it changed your life? I mean, you've got a family you're still raising as well. It's gotta be we tough. actually have Bruce home more. Oh, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. You know, he's a lot more present in our lives. He traveled a lot. He worked a lot. There's a lot of stress at his job. Um, and when we're together on weekends, we're really together on weekends. Yeah. I think that's so. That's a positive, Don. The harder part is, it takes us a little longer to get places. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it yeah. uh yeah, we we don't fight as much. That's good. That's that, a good thing. That's a good thing. Cuz you know it, that. It is, yeah. And we travel yeah. more. Yeah, we do a lot of traveling. Yeah. I, I, he came to Fredericton with me yesterday to see the floods. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And what are, what do people that don't understand this condition? What what do they need to know about someone that's diagnosed with it that's close to them or what should they know about it? Mm. Oh, that's a good one. I, you have to go to your doctor first, there's mm -hmm. no question. And yeah. th then you'll come back for, with another doctor and they'll talk to each other and they'll say, yes, you have a disease. And then you, you got a prescription. Yes you, you, yes, you have to get that. And they told you to eat a lot of salmon. Yeah, salmon. Okay. Salmon. They she, couldn't say steaks, you know. No, I know. <laughs> but I, I really like it. it. It's quite good. So diet change and sleep. What about sleep? Yeah, I sleep. But is there a lot of mythology around Alzheimer's no. early onset? No, no. I think people are generally. Uh, it's, it hits you out of the blue. You don't expect the diagnosis. People, um, it was noticed at work that Bruce wasn't as um, vocal in board mm. meetings because, as you can tell, he struggles with some words. And the way it was explained to us is he'll he's missing verbs and, and nouns, but he can talk around the topic. So for when we say it takes a bit of time, it's because Bruce and I are talking around the topic. Yeah. Until I understand what he's what he's communicating to me. Yeah, the, I that's guess, frustrating. What, it, it is. This it is. is the hardest question. What's the future? What's the future look like for you too? I mean, how quickly does this deteriorate? Uh, what? What? How long before you might be in a lot less independent capacity? I would say it's going to take a long time. Mm -hmm. um, the way I look at it, it's been what four four years four years mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Still driving, doing all these things that I want to do. Boats. It's not the end of life as you knew it. it no, in other words, it's actually. Right? It, I, I actually like what I have right now. I don't want it, but you know, it's like picking 
pieces and put it together and go out and play golf with it that or do something with it on that side and you can forget all the bad scores if you want. Okay, well, we cheap, cheap a lot, though. <laughs> <laughs> Your colleagues have been very supportive. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's been amazing. I hear it all the time. And this leader has been really supportive to me as well. Okay. He's given me time, and I'm grateful to Andrew. Listen, yeah. we're, we're very grateful that you came and shared your story. I know it's not easy for either one of you, but Bruce, carry on. I'm I sure will. you'll be, uh, you'll, you'll do great. All right. Thanks very much, both of you. Thanks, Tom. <laughs>